So today I'll be talking about the hanging balloons, which is part of the Jungji Ito collection. And I saw the show on Netflix, and it was so good. You know, they did a good job adapting it. And I've, I've also read the manga, and I, I thought they did an excellent job. And while watching it, I was like, "What's the meaning behind hanging balloons?" So today I'll be talking about it. And I'll be spoiling a little bit of it, so I'm assuming you've seen it. That's why you're looking for the meaning behind it. So just long story short, there's an idol named Terumi who is believed to have committed suicide. But later on, we just find out that it was this massive head that killed her. And then more massive heads will start to appear over the city and try to kill a whole bunch of people. And that's basically the premise of the story, you know, floating heads that look like you. And they have a little hanging rope and they try to kill you. So a balloon could have your face and... Is trying to find you to kill you so that's the premise of the story so what does it mean does it even have a meaning like the hanging balloons you know you just see like your own head floating around trying to kill you does this really mean something so some believe the hanging balloons demonstrate that everyone has suicidal urges so for like the idol you know maybe she wanted to suicide because there was too much pressure on her maybe being famous was too much for her and you know just people theorize that balloons show, show suicidal urges because throughout the episode we can assume the boyfriend kills himself from the loss of his girlfriend you know he felt too sad so then he killed himself and the balloon just demonstrates this then this could motivate others in the school to do the same because when you're surrounded with people that have committed suicide or just a comedian like that it could lead others to do it because they're also sad and then the main character's father he kills himself as well because maybe he cannot provide for his family no more in the, in the show or in the manga we see that he wants to leave to get money for his family maybe he just couldn't do it no no more and then he could have you know killed himself and then the brother he becomes of another house now since his dad passed away and he also cannot handle it because he cannot get money so that he, this could also lead for him to commit suicide and this shows his balloon and then the mother as well, she's too sad with the loss of her husband and her son, which leads to her maybe committing suicide as well. And then last, we see the main character, Kayoko, and she commits suicide just to join her family. So some people believe that the balloons just show suicide. Like the balloons are just an illusional thing and these people are actually just killing themselves. And there's no really no balloon, there's no really anything bad happening outside, it's just all illusions from people because deep down everybody has suicidal urges and in my opinion this is a pretty strong one i kind of would say yeah, that's what it means because if you think about it the faces change you know the face goes from being happy when it's chasing you when you know when the balloon's chasing you around it's like happy but once it captures you it gets all like sad you know it's sad that it actually did it so maybe you can just show that once the people actually commit suicide it wasn't what they thought or maybe it just wasn't what they wanted in the end and yeah that, that's what i noticed like in the show you know their face goes from being all happy when the balloons are chasing them like the balloons faces are all happy and then they go all sad once they capture their victim i think this is a good theory as well because it kind of highlights that there is a lot of suicide in japan there is like a really high outstanding rate in japan of suicide so I do think that the show just wanted to demonstrate this. They wanted to show that, you know, Japan suffers from high suicide rates. Or the show just cannot mean nothing. It could just the purpose of scaring you. You know, just floating heads that tries to kill you with the hook. It could be that. But, you know, in my opinion, the, everybody has suicidal urges. I think that's a cool theory. And I feel like that's what the show was going for. But at the same time, they could have just not been going for anything. And if you do have any suicidal thoughts, if you do suffer from that, do contact people, do talk to your friends, talk to your family, just try to find somebody. Um, I know it can be hard when you have thoughts like that, but the people around you, they will care, you know, your family will care, your friends will care, if you tell them, they will be there for you, or just, as well, you can call the suicidal hotline, I'll put it up. And, well, thank you for watching this one, um, I saw the one subscriber, that was cool. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye.